As you probably know, I'm Mr Jackson and I deliver the engineering option in year 10, year 11. It's classed as a vocational course, which just means that your final qualification isn't all based on the results of one exam at the end of year 11. It also takes into account the quality of the coursework that you complete. Altogether, the final grade is based on the combination of 25% exam and 75% coursework. It's split into four units. The first unit, R105, design briefs, design specifications and user requirements. This is the examined unit. This is delivered throughout year 10 and year 11 via standalone theory lessons and homeworks. The idea is that when completed, the homeworks are all sorted out into a folder to provide almost like a textbook to revise from for the exam. The next three units are the coursework units. The first unit, R106, product analysis and research. This involves you looking at existing products and taking them apart to see how they're made and what they're made from. The work for this project is submitted via computer presentation. The next unit is R107, developing and presenting engineering designs. This requires you to develop 2D and 3D designs using traditional drawing techniques and drawing boards, as well as using CAD packages like 2D design, the one that you're familiar with. The work for this pr project, when submitted, will combine a computer presentation, all your drawings, as well as the printouts of your CAD work. The final unit, R108, 3D design realization, this is a project where you plan, make, and then evaluate one of the designs that you came up with in unit R107. So your submission for this project will include a product, you know, the actual thing that you make, as well as a computer presentation. Studying engineering provides lots of varied and different career opportunities. But if you pick this course, it doesn't mean that you're destined to follow one of those routes. If you pick this course, hopefully you'll enjoy the project work and also pick up lots of transferable skills to help with whatever your future holds. What I would advise is that you don't pick this course if you think it's an easy option, because it isn't. There's just as much classwork and homework as any of the other options that you might pick. And don't pick this course because you think it will be a practical lessons all the time, because it won't be. The practical bits probably only work out to be about a third of the time. If you need any more information or have any questions, then you can email me at a.jackson at theskiptonacademy.co.uk or when we're back in school, you can ask me. Thank you very much for listening. Cheers.